Am I with you guys, or did I stay behind? You were um, guarding this room there, I yeah. think. Is that the yeah. way in? Or yeah. Yeah, the so way in's up here somewhere. Yeah, the way in is right here. Okay. And then you guys went this way. So you descended you descended, descended the stairs okay. into the into the caverns. Uh, you explored this area. It looks like there was like used to be statues that were like toppled over. Yeah. There was a statue that used to have the helmet that you were looking for. Mm-hmm. Um, what was it called? The Helm Spogel. of Torm site, yeah. I think it's called. Yeah. And, uh, so, <clears throat> it was missing, though, um, and then, so you, uh, continued to search, um, any type of, like, holy symbol has been desecrated down here, so, like, it starts glowing and, like, shooting off electrical yeah. energy if you get too close yeah, to it. Yeah, the last two have been painful. Yeah. Is this just, like, a tomb or a mausoleum? Or it's like a, a mausoleum. mausoleum. Yeah, it's like a, cri- yeah, like a mausoleum crypt. Like, uh, oh, Raijin's granddad was buried down here. Did you find it? Yep. Oh. Or down. Yeah, right here. Nice. Um, was and it desecrated? It was not. Um, it actually helped. I think it gave you guys a little, he- gave you a bunch of healing. Yeah. And then this was like a place of, place of rest. And when Raijin walked in, like, everyone got a, like, a bump in hit points. Which we fucking needed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You guys got wrecked by like a uh, what was a shadow demon and like some scorpions and some uh, oh yeah and then in the last room there's like this swirling pool of water and uh, Raijin knew that this room used to be like a place that um, a very devout person spent several months and basically like uh, a consec- consecrated the room towards her god and, and built a con, uh, like a, a shallower connection to the deities but because it's now in hell it was it got corrupted so like the the pool was like swirling this like beautiful like starry like view and then suddenly it like turned to blood and stuff would come out of it every once in a while so also in that room you guys found uh, some dead bodies, and underneath one of the dead bodies was the helm of Torm site. Um, <clears throat> so th- a bunch of minotaurs and a Balgura came out. Oh, yeah. um, you guys were able to fight them off. Uh, then I, I believe you guys were trying to attempt to close the portal, and nothing seemed to be working. Um, and then uh, <laughs> uh, Dylan's uh, character, Merp. No. Uh, did some wild magic and a unicorn showed up and, and closed the portal for you guys. Unicorn don't always make so clutch. <laughs> and then finally, Raijin put the helmet on. and uh, That's where we ended. Yeah, some bad things happened. You had a couple visions yep. of, of your grandfather collapsing in a desert and then being drugged to a hill that looked like it has like a... It looks, it's like a stone, stone like bluffs. It looked like a hand kind of cupping the top of a hill. Um, and then you fell unconscious. Yep. I just went into a coma. Yep. And that's that's what happened. <laughs> I will, Solid recap. Yep. And I will shake Raijin. See if Is he in the water? Wake. Did we pull him out of the water? No, I'm sleeping. Yeah, um, you guys, I think you guys <laughs> pulled him out of the water and you retreated to this like yeah. place of rest. No. Oh, that's right. So, have I had anything equivalent to a long rest since we entered the mausoleum? No, no. Nope. Okay, so I'm still down eight maximum hit, hit points from when we first got to the cemetery. No. Mm-hmm. And I'm down one hit point from that from when we short rested before we descended down here. Mm-hmm. But I got full key points. Well, I'm gonna check Ryzen like see if. Uh... He wakes up at all, like kick him. Yeah, not non-responsive. Uh, all the way up to the point where, like, I prick his finger or something, try to make him yeah. bleed a little bit. Nothing. There's a small twitch, but but that's but that's it. Uh. Well, and every once in a while, he seems to like. There's like a soft moan, like you know, like having a nightmare or something. You got fuzzies all over your head. It's because of this thing. Oh. <laughs> Oh, from your hood. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's three. Um, well, 
I don't know what else we can do to <clears throat> bring him back right now. I don't have the tools to wake him up. I mean, he did it whenever he put the helmet on. I tried to get the helmet off. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't budge. It will not come Like off. I set him down, grab the helmet, and just start walking away. He goes with it. Yeah. Um, Excellent. <laughs> it's a tight fit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, That's Dragonborn head. Hey, you know, do you, uh, weird. Yeah. Coin Charmer, do you happen to have any grease spells left? <laughs> I might. <laughs> Let me see. Because if we can cast grease directly on him, it'll probably help us get it out of here. <laughs> hey, as luck would have it, I have one slot left. <laughs> uh, well, if anything, six can carry him out until we can figure out what to do with him. Uh, maybe uh, Ravengar or whoever was down here, uh, the guy who's... You know, Ravengar was the one that sent us down, right? Mm -hmm. yep. He may know how to get it off. Uh, so I will put him on the back of six um, and then just kind of tie him on so that yeah. way he doesn't and, come in off. The, while you're trying to figure this out, I'll, I'll, like you guys can take a short, short rest if, if you haven't already. Uh, do I have any... Hey, look at that. I do have some hit dice left. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see. This will be the one short rest in the entire campaign where I'm like, I don't need to take a fucking short rest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 11. Let's just go. Yeah, let's go. I'm good. 18. I rolled a 2, a 2, and a 1 on my hit dice. Oh, Beautiful. that sucks. Oh. Where's our bard with his song of rest? Right. Oh yeah, does does uh, Julian have song of rest? Yeah, all bards have it. Okay, he'll he'll cast song of five. Rest. So that's what so that's an extra d eight. Six. Uh, five. Is it a d eight at level six? Bro, I don't know. I can't don't remember. Don't know. Yeah. I shall go look. So I only play the bard long enough for him to die. <laughs> I don't know, for a while there, I was obsessed with bard. Now I forgot everything about it. The only bard I want is still UA. Um... Okay, you guys all short rested up? Yeah. Yep. Ready to go. Right. So, so what's the, what's the plan? You say, as being comatose, do I benefit from short rest? Yes, you would, but you don't wake up. <laughs> That's um, fine. Well, I just strap him onto six, tie him up as best as I can, okay. um, and like make it to where if I have to enlarge six, he can without uh, uh, drawing quartering. Okay. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Okay. All right. So um, you guys are able to make it out of the catacombs. Um, and you you go up to the top of the stairs, um, and you see a sight. Behold your eyes. Beholder with eyes. Behold your with eyes. <clears throat> you see. You see face, dude. Titties. Titties. Lots of titties. <laughs> On the walls. But your old man titties. A beholder, but titties instead of eyes. He's titties titties at the end of tentacles. A tit holder. Yeah, that's King of Death. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Walked out of Avernus straight into the lantern land. Yeah, so you see uh, Gideon Lightward, um, the the guy that <clears throat> was kind of overseeing everything. And uh, he he kind of greets you at the top of the stairs and you see those two skeleton minotaurs that you scared away are now back. Um, gigantic battle axes in hand. And, uh, um, and he says, uh, I, I assume that you guys were um, successful? Uh, that's a, a, a matter of speaking and I, I kind of like just kind of like wave at six and you see Raijin scrap. <laughs> yeah, them. okay. Yeah, um, uh, he says, if he's dead, I can help you out with that. Well, he's uh, not dead. Ah, uh, not much I can do then. You don't, you're a spellcaster, right? Healer of sorts, or were. 
Yes, of a sort. Um, do you happen to have or contain a dispel magic or <clears throat> something that will help us? I, I do not. Well, uh, you're completely uh, no use, and we will leave you now. And oh. I will take Rajin and walk through the curtain. <clears throat> okay. Uh, as you open the curtain, the whole antechamber is just full of zombies. I'm there just go. Like, standing there. Oh. And uh, he says, Well, uh, I, I honestly was not expecting you to come up and uh, not fight. Um, you are you are obviously free to go, and I guess I'll find something else to do with all of my undead. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't really care what you do with them. I mean, if it's physically able, you I can... I can tell you what you can do with them. That's what I was, <laughs> was, was going to say. I mean, if you're physically able, you can put them... All, I have a place for you to put them. Um, if not, I can widen that cavity out for you. <laughs> Uh, Stick like, them in your bag. I don't, I don't think he gets it. Like, I, like, <laughs> I, I, I will come up with something. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention during a short rest, I wanted to change uh, uh, one of my uh, 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 fusion. Thank you. Yeah, I been a while. Um, <laughs> been a while. Thing. Yeah, I'm just changing. Like I'm changing a spell on my sword. Cool. Yeah, and, and he says, um, you're welcome to leave the premises. Uh, I would uh, appreciate it if you would not hang out around here. Uh, why? What you doing? Well, this is my house. Like, you're kind of just crashing oh, my house. You need to clean up. I kind of like what <laughs> I've done with the place. It smells of death, rot. You have... These two Can minotaurs who are still, uh, these two uh, these two minotaurs who obviously need their heads mounted onto the walls. Um, there's just not enough bones, I guess. For you someone know, of your after stature. a while, you can't you can't even smell it. Well, I uh, I imagine <laughs> you see me just kind of like leak oil down the side, like <laughs> there's my addition. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Um, yeah, I, he uh, he not nods his head. I just spit a chip all over. I don't know why. It was hot. Uh, yeah, he nods his head, and the uh, the zombie horde kind of parts and leaves a, a path, a path for you um, out 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 of the um, the uh, I think I can't remember what this is called. Cathedral. Yeah, cathedral temple whatever. A place I'll, with the stuff. And onto the path, and, and you see the path is clear, but on every side is <clears throat> just skeletons and zombies um, just kind of standing there idly looking looking at you. And he, um, him and the Mesoloths and the Minotaurs kind of step step out onto the front porch. We're gonna have to go back and kill him later. I've <laughs> <laughs> well, got bigger fish to fry. I mean, when he gets back to, when he gets back to uh, 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 the Sword Coast, he'll have his own problems to deal with. <laughs> um, yeah, and then uh, as we part through the zombies and skeletons, um, just kind of walk up and try okay. to head back as soon as we get to like outside of the outside of the uh the graveyard yeah. area um like look for a building and just kind of like all right how are we gonna head back okay yeah and I, um uh i believe your father octon right mm -hmm. uh gave you some directions on how to but get, he's asleep get there but yeah you're asleep so um uh, whoever's got highest survival just give me a give me a survival check <clears throat> I mean, we're going to, like, the biggest building, so it shouldn't be that terribly. Yeah, yeah I think that the, like, I think getting there isn't the problem. I think that, like, finding the best route that isn't going to get you into trouble, I think, is the best. Survival's a plus three. That's probably the best. Yeah. John, you're, you're the guy. highest. <laughs> you win. You win the game <laughs> of survival. 22. Hey. Non-wisdom <laughs> characters. <laughs> I don't think I have a very good survival. Yeah, mine's only plus two. Yeah, like, um, you you are able to kind of recall the path you took last time. 
And you also noticed on the way back, there was that open area where that was that hill where you guys ran into the, uh, um, man, I am so rusty. The birds. <laughs> the, um, what do they call them? Uh, rocks. Uh, rocks. Rocks. Yeah. <laughs> we ran into the rocks. Like you found, you remember seeing like an offshoot and you're able to climb that and without, with like using defilade to kind of keep out of sight. Mm-hmm. And um, you guys make it back to the um, High Cathedral, and uh, um, Octon and um, Duke uh, come rushing out, and uh, Octon is is obviously very worried about Raijin, and he kind of rushes up to him, and is, he's like, "What what happened to him? Is he okay?" Uh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> uh, not sure what to do with him. He put the helmet on and passed out. Why didn't he put the helmet on? For magics. Yeah, like the the helmet's supposed to be like a way to connect directly with um, Torm. Torm. So maybe he's connected straight to Torm right now. Yeah. Um, uh, Duke is like in, in my research. Uh, I, I don't believe that it does this. It, like people usually like fall to their knees and then have a vision. Um, and then that that's it. Uh, let, let's bring him inside. So, Has anybody ever put it on in hell before? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Duke kind of gives you a look and says, uh, fair point. <laughs> um, <clears throat> did you run into any trouble with the undead? Um, were you able to take care of them? Uh, there's a lot of undead in the chapel. Um, uh, we were not able to deal with them at the moment. Ah, you must have been very sneaky to escape then. No, we were let. Let out. Interesting. We managed to make a truce and seal a demon portal, right? Yeah. Demons coming through? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Who was there? Was there a being leading the undead, or was it? The the headmaster. uh, A fellow named Giddy. Yeah. Gideon Lightwood, yeah. Um, I, I think Duke doesn't recognize the name, but but Octon does, um, and uh, and he he kind of sneers and he's like, Gideon. <sighs> yeah, he wasn't too pleasant. Yeah, <laughs> he's like he wasn't he wasn't very pleasant as a good person, and now that he seems to have turned, I'm, I'm sure that uh, it's even it's even worse now. Um, and and you said that he's controlling all of the undead. Yeah, mm-hmm. he. Uh, Said he had a, a, a meeting with, it wasn't Lathander, was it? Uh, Zariel. 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 And, uh, yeah, that's like the opposite of Lathander. <laughs> and made a pact of some sort. Mm-hmm. Says, bad bad news indeed. Mm-hmm. We were itching for a fight, but we think that's what we were. It's <laughs> priority yeah. was to yes. get back. Yeah, uh, good idea. For another time then. Um, so they, uh... Well, if I ever get five levels in Cleric, I can just destroy Undead. Ooh. That'll be, like, more That would have been cool, now. yeah. <laughs> Four levels from now, not more like... Damn it. <laughs> I'm currently a... Are you taking all Cleric from now on? I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I've, I've I thought good. you had the whole, like, 15 levels planned out. I, I've, I've gone back and forth several times. The, the closest I think I've come, come is, like, a straight, just 50-50 split. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> if I want more sorcery point stuffs, it's better to go more sorcerer. Yeah. If I want more cleric stuff, it's better to go cleric. But I'm kind of going just both ways. Yeah. So I've, I've kind of just settled on a 50-50 split at this point. Nice. Don't dare any stuff. Okay. So they, they take you back down into the crypts um, under the hand, hand of Torm. Um, and they, they lay you out on, on like a, an altar, basically. Um, and... Uh, your dad uh, kind of closes his eyes and, and like speaks an incantation, um, and uh, he says, um, uh, "the the the helm of Tormsype seems to be cursed in some way, and what? it's and it's stuck stuck to Raijin. How do we get the curse to Surprise be removed?" Face. Um, he says, uh, "I'm I'm unfamiliar with cursed items. Like, do you, does anyone know a, a spell that that, that the breaks only one the who curse? would is him." <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have remove 
Paris. I don't think I do. I mean, <laughs> we can always carve out his head. I think so. Remove curse doesn't does it? It doesn't remove Matt. I think it's like uh, I knew. Your touch all curse is affected one creature. I or think object. it just removes and attunement. If the object is a cursed magic item, oh, its okay. curse remains, but the spell breaks its owner's attunement to the object, so it yep. can be removed or discarded. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I, I thought have, it was greater restoration. And okay. I would actually I think know greater restoration curse. would work too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, he's he's like uh, I I. I have a greater restoration. I I have used it for the day, so we're, we're we'll have to wait until tomorrow. Um, um, yeah, uh, I'm I'm technically not high enough level to cast for the curse. Okay. Um. So yeah. So uh, he he says, um, make yourself comfortable. I'll 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 uh I'll I'll look after Raijin in the in the meantime. It's okay. I have him. Um. He says, well, we'll we'll both have him then. Um. And. Uh, He's like, I, I am his father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that why you fellas look alike? Wow. <laughs> you I know it's his dad. You gotta look, yeah. I apologize, but meeting many of the people who here were from El Terrell, not all of them are uh, of uh, great standing, so uh, excuse me if I continue to watch him. Yeah, yeah, he, he just nods, um, and then he, he sits down and, and begins, like, kind of meditating um, in, in prayer um, and then uh, so you guys uh, spend the night so you can guys all take a long rest now <clears throat> do I get a long rest? no okay. actually give me a give me a con save sure ooh that's a 13 on the die uh, con save that is a 17 okay yeah so <clears throat> during the night you have like this like kind of like shifting dreams like they'll they'll shift into like horrible torture death murder like scenes and then like you know calm peaceful gardens and and for a long time you kind of fight between the two and uh and you you like during that time you have like these these strange like flashes that that, like are kind of in between those two things um you see um your dad holding the sword of Zariel, um, your grandpa, sorry, holding the sword of Zariel, um, and arguing with some like shadows, like you can't, you can't make out. Um, and then, um, you see like the shadows kind of parting and moving away. Um, and one stands with him. Um, and then, you know, there's then scenes of like peace and, and then scenes of death and murder and whatever. And, um, and then, and you see the your grandfather and this the shadow um, like moving across the Avernus landscape, um, and and you get the feeling of like pursuit, like there's someone chasing um, or looking for him, or or you got you know like there's like visions of like an eye or or something like searching, kind of like Iosaron type stuff, um, and then and then back and forth, but eventually you you you're able to like almost willfully reject the the negative parts of your your dreaming and end up mostly in like a place of peace and uh, you're able to complete a long rest. Yeah. Um, and then uh, first thing in the morning, uh, Octon wakes you all up and he's like, "I I I should be I should be ready. Um, uh, do you guys want to be here when I do it?" Uh. get some breakfast first uh, <laughs> he says well um i mean you can but i'm not waiting I'm, i'll just let me grab a to-go plate uh, uh, over there it should be uh and he, he turns to me again casting the spell <laughs> so he, he casts the spell and uh you you see like the um the helmet kind of loosen on his head and kind of fall back and Octon quickly grabs it and pulls it off. Um, and um, maybe 30 seconds later, your eyes flicker open. And you see your your father and your party members. Like, Guys, hide the shovels. He's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Uh, you put the helmet on and you fell asleep. Did, did we close the portal? Yes, we closed the portal. <laughs> did, did we kill the zombies? No, we have to go back. 
Okay. <laughs> I, I think, uh, where, where's Cute? Does, I'm sure he has food. Do we have food? <laughs> You can come walking up. Yeah, you can walk. Oh, I, I miss it. <laughs> uh, okay, I have no idea what the plan is now. Uh, well, we can either return with the the helm to uh, uh, yeah to uh, Raven Guard, or we can go kill the zombies and Lightfoot. Yeah, so Raven Guard was with with everyone, and and uh, he kind of comes in the room, and uh, um, he's like very unhappy. You know, like he's he's like, I, I at this point, like that was our that was our hope. You know, um, he says, uh, you know, I was hoping that with the Helm of Tormsite we would find a way to be able to defeat the the. Um, <clears throat> Oh my gosh, I am out of it tonight. Uh, the, um, oh my gosh, the vampires. Why can I not think of vampires? Oh right, the vampires. Yeah, yeah, defeat the vampires and, and reclaim the siege stores that would that would give us more protection and more food. And he, he kind that, of uh, slumps back and says, "I I don't know what to do at this point." Well, uh, I believe we could go and kill the vampires. I believe we still. Uh, oh, one, a proper execution. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, um, it's a, so the, something cursed the helm. Is there any way to break the curse so it can do what you were hoping? Uh, he says, I'll, I'll, I'll have my best people look at it, <laughs> but best I can give you is 350. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, he says that we can't just like grind outside the town for a few hours and gain some levels. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How many rats do we need? Yeah. yeah. Um, can't yep. just get a couple of holy priests to piss on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll try, but <laughs> um, uh, he says you know that cursed items seem to remain cursed, and uh, oh, he's like, that, I'm going to keep it, um, and maybe if we ever get back, um, then it will. It will be cleansed, but... Okay, um, I have a crazy idea. What if I put it on again? <laughs> That's not going to work for you. Octon kind of was like... <laughs> You're not getting out of this one! Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, he says... Um, he's like, there's there's way too many vampires, even, even for a strong party like you. Uh, he's like... There, there may be a possibility that we could stage some sort of battle and and maybe you know, empty out some of their forces to fight us, and you guys could sneak in. Um, he said, "But, but just going alone, you would surely fail." Uh, where they hold up? So they're on the other oh, side. Town. They're on the east side of of El Terrell, uh, across the the bridge um in uh, and they're they're in the like the siege stores there's like this big like open market and uh the <clears throat> the siege store was kind of hidden in in a tavern mm-hmm. on this on the edge of edge of the the marketplace mm-hmm. so you almost have a better idea about the layout of these siege stores and the vampires do do you know a secret way in uh he says un- unfortunately um like I, I know of a way into it um but it looks to be collapsed we we searched um earlier hoping that we could find a way in and it's collapsed so the only way i know of is the the main entrance um and it, it will obviously be be guarded do, do we know how many vampires are we facing? He says, he says, I... A dozen, a hundred. I don't know. Um, he said they, they keep to themselves and they, they go out in packs of two to four. <clears throat> he said that we have gone in force over there and we've been met by quite a few, a couple dozen. Um, he said beyond that, I, I, I don't know. Um, and they're not full vampires. They seem to be the vampire spawn. Um, That's good. Yes. Yeah, and we believe that we believe that uh, um, 
that there is a, a vampire that's kind of leading them, a full vampire. A real vampire. Yeah, um, and I can't remember the name. That's scary. <clears throat> Uh, the okay. high rider Ak- Akia, uh, we, we believe, is is the crazy idea. Vampires <laughs> go for blood and stuff, right? <clears throat> Zombies don't have good blood, right? <clears throat> we could temporarily convince crazy dickhead to send zombie army after the vampires. What do we have to offer him? to get him to do this. Give him the helmet, it's worthless to us. If we die, he'll have more zombies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know too terribly much about undead, but you know, there are different kinds of undead. Maybe they have beef. <laughs> kind of, kind of a, uh, bloodless and in the crypts kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh. I get it now. Crips and blood. Yeah. God, God, yeah. God. Yeah. In, in the crips. That was good. Yeah. That's, yeah. Oh, that was really good. That's Thank good. you. That that that's that's the best I got all night. <laughs> um, he he. Uh, Duke says, um, mm. "Let me finish eating my breakfast." Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you're right. We did need a breakfast before. <clears throat> um, um, he says. Um, he points at him, and like at that exact moment, uh, Q is like trying to sneak a hand onto somebody else's plate. <laughs> 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 <I'm scared>. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, he says, "Do you believe that that Gideon would would consider something like this?" Uh, it's a long shot, but. Does anybody have any less crazy ideas? No. I mean, we are basically talking about making a deal with the devil or a devil worshiper. Yeah. Isn't that kind of how we got the, the how the town got into this mess in the first <laughs> place? I got nothing. <laughs> Neither do I. Um, I just say we just go. If there is a way to distract most of the vampires from the stores maybe we can i mean i can hold quite a bit i have internal parts that move around um and make room but uh Kinky. outside of that yeah uh, our duke says I, I ideally huh how many eggplants can be in there <laughs> 500 pounds worth <laughs> <laughs> He says, you know, 500 pounds of food would be helpful, but it would not last us what what we're planning on at lasting. He says, uh... Um, but it would give you enough uh, enough to fight and rest and and give you a little bit of a way in. I mean, yeah. while we're there, we can take out the head vampire. Yeah, but... he, he says that... He thinks that if the, the vampire can be taken out, that the, that the, the forces will be scattered... The, the vampire spawn will be scattered. Ryzen, uh, you don't happen to have a... Uh, yeah. Ryzen, you don't happen to have a spell that can uh, illuminate... Uh, make like a daylight effect? Uh, maybe. Uh, I am not yet strong enough of a cleric to do that. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, uh, during a long rest you can become level 7. Wait, I am what? still not quite long and strong enough to do that. <laughs> You're really level seven already? Yep, level seven. Woo woo. Well, that means I can either do an ASI or a feat finally. <sighs> so Duke says, "Well, ideally, we would not sacrifice our forces for this plan. It would be better to sacrifice Gideon's forces." Um, if there's any sign, sort of deal that we can work with him. Um, yeah, I, I, I really, as insane as it sounds, I think the see if we can send a zombie horde after some vampires might be our best. <laughs> um, and, and he says, you know, if, if, if Gideon is not amiable or you can't work a deal, he's like, I'm, I'm willing to give what we have to, 
to do this if you feel like you can take on the vampire lord um, uh, we will try everything um, did, did, they, did anybody like know him while he was still you know human yeah like, I think have... you I think Rajan saw him a couple times but that was it Octon says I, I spoke to him and he was a big dick basically and, and I, I don't want to have anything to do with him and me going there would, would probably not be not be a good move Coin Chom, are you a negotiator, a businessman? You think you can <laughs> come up with a plan, make a deal with this fella? If there was anything that we had to trade. It's the helmet. We can always trade the helmet. And do we know if he even wants the helmet? I don't recall him expressing interest in it. You think we can take the helmet away from here? <laughs> Uh, I feel like somebody would be watching us pretty close. I mean, mean, it's cursed. We can't really do anything with it until we can remove the curse. I mean, we could offer to give it back. I mean, it's where it was. What if we sneak up on Gideon and put the helmet on him? Ooh, mm-hmm. I could do that. Yeah, I could do that. You what could about... do that. You could do that better than I could. But uh, I mean, would his undead minions like become inert or just wild? Because uh, a horde of undead monsters without someone in charge doesn't sound very pleasant either. Is there a way we could possibly hmm. change the companion back to where it was? <laughs> no, that's some crazy magic. <clears throat> you talking crazy? That, that, that's a literal deal with the devil. <laughs> Just off of Habaldus Gate. Nobody hears any kin there, right? <laughs> <laughs> or I there's mean, this I, town I, called anyone Falls. Anyone would, I figured you would. <laughs> or there's a town Falls. <laughs> Was he was he a familiar person before El Terrell fell into Avernus? Yeah, yeah. So Gideon was he was kind of the caretaker of the cemetery before. Okay. Would he be known in any kind of uh, merchant community? Is known for buying certain things or? Um. I don't know, it seems like you no, get thrust okay. into hell and you become a zombie overlord, it's kind of an act of desperation. Yeah, give me give me a give me a history check. Okay. Or what what would be like a merchant check? I don't I don't know. Intelligence um, of some sort. Yeah, yeah, intelligence, I guess. Yeah, what's what's an intelligence based? History is wisdom. Investigation? Right? Yeah. History? No, oh, history, oh, history is intelligence. intelligence. Yeah, so give me a history check. Yeah. yeah. I think that's I think that's okay. kind of fun. Okay. Uh fourteen. Um you you recall You recall someone talking about um, uh, a like some sort of like cleric in El Terrell that was was looking. Actually, he came to Baldur's Gate once and was was or sent sent an emissary to Baldur's Gate and was looking for like um, like some like dark artifacts like con- con- uh, consecrated. Desecrated. desecrated desecrated like desecrated artifacts and and he was in like it was it was a very like odd list of like weird like kind of like you know like necromantic like items uh like kind of like nostalgic not nostalgic but um, like collector items not anything that was like super powerful but just like weird like you know torture devices and 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 stuff like that but but uh that that like you don't like you just kind of overheard the conversation and you don't have any other other details okay okay 
So, so I, would I would imagine the helmet, the helmet is desecrated. desecrated. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I think you could you could say that. The other, the other thing I was thinking of was, was um, Julian's dagger. Yeah. But then... oh yeah, I don't know. What but I'm not going to take that from him. He's not here. Uh, I'll wait till he's here to do that. I mean, we can always make something for them. Well, I mean, maybe we should actually talk to him and see what he wants before we, you know, it seems a little premature debating what we can give and we don't even know what he That's wants. not a bad That's idea. A bad he idea. talked to us talked before. To us. See what kind of deal he wants to make. Yeah. And what are we looking for? Kill oh, vampires. Gotta kill the vampires. I mean, we could always do gorilla tactics. So we, we just, just need to, to take him out and stake him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So we can either have the, the so humans fight the vampires to distract the book with the horses. They'll lose some people. We'll probably take on heavy losses in that fight if we win. It's almost a win-win because then the supplies what? they have will last what if, longer. <laughs> what if we go start a fight? But if we get the zombies to fight, we could save people's lives and defeat the vampires. What if we go start a fight with the zombie guy and then slowly walk away? I was thinking that, but they probably <laughs> don't care about anywhere past and, the cemetery they're going. And you have to think... Plus, they're on the opposite sides of the city. Yeah, well, we're they're just have... dragging, just like pegging off on the edges. Yeah, the cemetery is on the... Like extreme yeah. west side of El Terrell. the market is almost on the extreme east side of yeah. El Terrell. You'd have to you'd have to kite him for a long time. Yes. <laughs> Fucking classic WoW shit. Yeah, Jeez. <laughs> drag, drag the world boss back to the fucking city. Uh, I was just thinking, this guy's like the the dude from Skyrim that leads you to Mehrun's razor. Yeah. yeah. Collecting all the weird artifacts. Yeah. You have to kill him anyway. Yeah. <laughs> him and his <laughs> him and his buddies. It was a hell of a yeah. fight. Uh, I took a level of sorcerer. Okay. I took elemental addict. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. There you go. No more no more resistances to lightning anymore. Yeah. And then next level, I'm gonna take a cleric. It, it doesn't do anything to immunity. Though. It does not. No. Do just, no. just resistance. I, I feel like it's not a ton of devils or demons with immunity to lightning. The, it's the yeah, there's, there's a lot of resistance. Resistance yeah. to lightning. Yeah. You know? uh, and then next level, I'll get my fourth level cleric, and I can do another feed or ASI. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'll be on par with everybody again, <laughs> mostly. Um. <laughs> well, yeah. So we're just gonna take some crap, go talk to Gideon, go, "Hey, will you help us fight some vampires?" And if he doesn't, best. can we just kill him? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm with him. <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds like. Can a we find some random stuff, stuff around? And like, you know, I don't know if there's like pools of blood where around where we're at because it's pretty. I mean. We're in hell, so there's gonna be something like that. So we can find like I don't know a, a cross or something or an, a a rock quarry and just dunk it in blood and hand it to him as like a a trick. You know? Hey, look what we found! This is it's desecrated. the desecrated <laughs> I, quarry of blood. I I I rubbed some dirt on it. It's desecrated. <laughs> <laughs> it's dirt. I curse you. <laughs> <clears throat> oh dang I say we go talk to the fella yeah let's go yeah, talk to him that's, 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 that's the, the least yeah. we could do yeah so Duke says um, in the meantime I'll, I'll start sending scouts out um, to the east side and just uh, testing um, to see where where the best place to to cause a distraction will be maybe um, at the bridges <clears throat> Yeah, that that it would be a good choke point. Um, uh, the only thing is that they they haven't ever come across to our side. They've kept at the bridge, but um, okay. but, it, but it, can, can I roll for vampire lore knowledge? Yeah, sure. <laughs> a history check or whatever. Sure. In school. Yeah, that's not gonna do it now. That's a three with who knows what <clears throat> bonuses, but that's not gonna be nearly enough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> 
Yeah, you were. There's this really hot dragonborn girl oh, yeah. in in uh, in vampire <laughs> class. <laughs> Way to go, Van Hell Schwing. <laughs> Schwing. <laughs> Um, what do vampires not like? Silver. Vegetables. That's werewolves. <laughs> uh, <laughs> vegetables. Uh, Garlic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, vegetables? I don't remember anything about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Garlic. Okay. I get it now. Um. You don't happen to have some pea pods in your pocket, do you? Some what? Pea pods? No. <laughs> I've been searching this whole time for just an onion to munch on. <laughs> uh, what about garlic? Does anybody have garlic? I mean, if we all just wear garlic, we, we just walk it. in and take this stuff. <laughs> They're like, ah, garlic! <laughs> take it all! Just leave us alone! <laughs> Huh. There's got to be like some dry food stores or something with vampires yeah, that got around here. Or is that just something we see mm. in plays? Uh, I just see in plays. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Very nice. I don't care what it does to the vampires. I'm gonna eat it. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe we're thinking about this the wrong way. You know, vampires drink blood. Maybe we could supply them with like blood, like a farm, farm some blood from people, make a deal. We give like them blade. blood without any fuss, and they help us, t- us take out the undead. Maybe we should do this the other way. <laughs> uh, I, um, Duke says, I'm not sacrificing my people. Um, just you don't pint. need all your blood. You make more. Just a pint. <laughs> a pint to each, 300 people, 300 pints, that's a lot of blood. There you go. <clears throat> He, he says, We just need somebody proficient in medicine. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> just come up with like a drip. Right. Yep, we're going to do uh, blood donations. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everyone's donating blood. Nice. Why to feed the vampires? Yeah, exactly. I mean, he, uh, um, Duke says, uh, I, I know at one point um, uh, a vampire spawn came and. Uh, Offered a a um, a speaking engagement with the with the vampire, um, and we we refused. So um, I mean, uh, there is an option to speak with him. I'm sure. I mean, if oh. we could get open communication, that's something. <clears throat> let's, let's pretend we want to make a deal with the vampire lord and wait till we in an audience with him and then strike. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure they will never expect that. Well, we'll go unarmed. I mean, you know, uh, my, my <laughs> hands are my weapons. <laughs> yeah. And then we can take, and you yeah, got some spell and we could hide weapons inside his weird mechanical body. <laughs> and, and, and go and pretend we're unarmed and offer to make a deal. Can we make like some holy gold slogger? Some holy gold slogger? <laughs> You what, know, and then have holy like Raijin bless the holy water, and then everybody drinks the silver schlager, and then we just walk in and let them bite us. <laughs> I mean, there's no point in them biting. We all start me, exploding. But... Yeah. All right, let's go talk to Gideon. Th- these are all wonderful yeah. ideas. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. <clears throat> um, okay, do you guys want to talk to Gideon? Yeah, uh, let's go. Let's go at some talk point to before everyone leaves, I want to pull my father aside. Okay, yeah. Uh, and briefly ask him, just be like, uh, so, I know Granddad never talked too much about hell and what happened and whatever, at least to me. Did he say more to you? And I'll, like, briefly describe some of the weird visions and stuff I've had. Yeah, uh, he'll, he'll... Oh, so, so you say I, I've been having visions? Yeah, I've been having weird visions, and I think he's speaking to me, maybe. I don't know. And then I kind of describe it, and like, did he say anything about any of this to you? Uh, like, he kind of he kind of leans back against the wall and, and, and thinks for a moment, and uh, uh, he says, um, he says, your granddad, uh, he, he was very quiet quiet about it he he refused to speak of it at all um he says 
There was there was one night. Um, uh, he was pretty down, and and I and I pushed him a little bit farther than I probably should have, asking him what happened. Um, and uh, he, he said that that he has no memory of what happened. He said he remembers um, following Zariel through the gate into Avernus and um, and and, fi- and and joining a great battle. And then from there, he just remembers being back in El Torel. Uh, and and I, I, I pushed him more, and that's all he would admit. Your dad went to hell and came back? My dad. Your grand, grand, yeah. yeah. I didn't know any of the Hell Riders made it back from hell. Um, yeah. So, so uh, yeah, Rajin really can handful. explain. So, yeah. so Zarya led a force of Hell Riders into hell through right. this through this portal. I, thought, I didn't know any of them came back. I thought they yeah, all and and so they were met with with a huge force, and um, they were they were being pushed back, and some of the Hell Riders retreated back through the portal. Uh, into the material plane, and then uh, then the portal closed, and so um, a portion of the forces had reti- retreated into the material plane, and then the uh, the rest were oh. left in El Torel oh. or in 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 Avernus. So your granddaddy <clears throat> was one of those cowards. No, he no, was he was, he was stuck in in Avernus, and he, showed up back <laughs> and he was the like yeah he was the only one from the forces that were were shut off in Avernus to return. And That's he has, suspicious. <clears throat> I will not have you speaking ill of my grandfather. He was a great man. <clears throat> yeah, you would have said the same thing about that other fella like two weeks ago that you killed. <clears throat> you did say that. I remember. <laughs> 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 um, uh, your father um, uh, he says that uh, let me look at my notes one, one second um, hey, no, that's fine. <laughs> I wish I remembered that sorry that's I'm throwing weird stuff at you no no um, uh, so so he, he asked you to repeat some of the visions um, and and he says um, how, how many shadows was he arguing with uh, you remember um, uh, one. Uh, three. Three. Okay. Yeah. yeah sure. Three. Yeah. Um, and, and he says, I, "I know Zariel had like four generals. Your your grandfather was one, and then there was three others: um, Yale, Olanthus, Yale, Y A E L, yep. Olanthus, O L A N T H." I U S and uh, Haruman H A R U M A N. Um, he he says, um, like that's the like what what else? Do, do, do you know more about those guys? Races? Um, I don't in my notes, but I, I'll look it up. Okay. But um, but uh, he 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 says I I I was really young when uh, when you know, your grandfather, you know, went, uh, over into Avernus and, uh, um, and so I, I only remember names and, 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 you know, yeah. kind of Very ideas. Brief. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, I just remember that like three just stuck in my mind, you know, um, uh, he says the, and the, none this, of them made it back. No, no, they were the, all of those generals were, were, at Zariel's side when when the portal closed, so they they were all on the other side. <clears throat> he says that um, Zariel's sword is is um, a a very powerful magical artifact, um, and uh, um, Zariel was gifted it gifted it when when she um, uh, uh, by Mount Celestia for for a great battle that she that she led um uh she says i he says i know that that she kind of um was was uh um unhappy with how the the celestial 
um, angels uh, were handling the blood war, um, and that was her main like push to go to Avernus and, yeah. and take the battle to them, and that's why she kind of uh, rebelled against the 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 angels and and kind of went off and built an army of her own uh, of the Hell Riders. Um, he says that that uh, but th- that sword is is very very powerful. Sick. <clears throat> But other than that, like he he says that like you know I, um, those other things I like don't make any sense to me. The the hill, um, uh, um, the the battle that you mentioned of of Zarel getting her hand cut off. Um, she said he says that 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 would only be something that that your father would have seen, you know, and, and, and communicated with someone, you right. know, if, if that was the case, but. Yeah. Cause it's like, nobody really knows what happens. Just that Zeriel. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Yeah. So ba- basically the, the quick of it was, yeah, she, she goes over the portal collapses and, and the assumption is that Zariel fell with her army and that she was defeated. And then, um, over, over many years, there's like rumors of, well, there's this like terrible angelic figure, tw- like twisted angelic figure that, that is rising in the ranks. And she's like, you know, um, and uh, yeah, eventually like it comes out that, that, you know, the, the rumors are it's Zariel that, that something has happened to her between that battle and now that she's now leading the demonic armies. Or the devil, devil armies, yeah. Neat. Okay. That, that's all I had. I just wanted yeah. to quick segue on that. No, nope, you're good. And it's been a long time since we've gone over it, so yeah, yeah it's a good, it's a good refresher. Cool. So did I hear any of this about the sword? <clears throat> well, I, did you? Because you were alone with your grandfather or yeah. with your father when you're talking about this. Do you communicate? Like, or do you tell anybody about the visions you've had? Um, I'd probably actually be keeping it pretty close, because okay. it's freaking me out a little bit. Yeah. And it's like, just weird. Yeah, like, I, I think, um... It's a- been a after, traumatic, you know, like, month or so. Yeah. After the helmet's off, I, I think Duke, uh, Ravenguard would have asked, what what happened when you put the helmet on? Yeah. What, did, what did you I, see? I would probably say I had some visions. Uh, I wouldn't go into too much detail. Um, okay. Just see, I, like... Um, it seemed like it was something with, you know, the blood war okay, and, you know, just flashes of terrible things. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, maybe just mention like, I think I saw Zeriel or something, you know, okay. those lines, but I wouldn't go like super in depth on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he doesn't push, like, I think he's interested in that artifact helping him. Yeah. And, and once... You explained that that it was kind of like visions of like horrible things and good things. Like he's like, well, it was it's been corrupted and it's no use to us. So yeah. he wouldn't go into any details. But you guys would overhear that part. Um, cool. I would think so because you'd be all in the same room. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go talk to the zombie Gideon. master douchebag. Okay. <clears throat> Is that what we decided? Yeah, I mean, that's really the only plan. thing we can do at this point. All right. We'll go see zombie master douchebag.